Hey guys, welcome back, PG Myington here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Optifine for Hexit. Now, some of us, we may not need Optifine, but for those of us um, that don't have all that great of computers, may actually need Optifine. So, Optifine basically just helps you run uh, Minecraft, and that makes things a lot easier and less labor intensive on your computer because it does let you fine tune the video settings. So, that's what we're going to be showing today. I would like to go ahead and start off by saying I just cleared out my jar file, so I have a brand new Hexit jar, and I'm starting from scratch. The only thing I I kept was my saves so basically all you need to run hexit is actually going to be the technic launcher i'll go ahead and show you guys how to do that it's actually going to be technicpack.net and you can easily download the launcher from i believe let's see you should be able to download it from let's go ahead and open this up and you should be able to go to download and from there you're able to select your um system so from there let's go ahead and exit out of this actually let's go ahead and go to optifine and you should be able to go to this website here now it's going to be optifine.net slash download so as you see we've accomplished the fact that we're able to figure out where Hexit is or where Optifine for Hexit is so basically I'm going to download the best version of Optifine possible for our computer so I'm going to be downloading this version here as you can see is Optifine 1.5.2 HD UD5 now you're gonna go ahead and just click download and the download should um, go ahead and continue I might get an ad fly message because I do have ad blocker and I may not yeah I got the message and you're just gonna go ahead and wait those five seconds and click skip ad and then from here you're going to be able to grab this and I'm going to drag this straight to the desktop now you do see that it opens up it's like this little block thingy and I have a one because I've already done this but I did delete it as I said now, if it doesn't show up as this, basically what you're going to want to do is go ahead and go download WinRAR, which is no big deal. Just type in WinRAR, and you can click right here and download WinRAR for your computer. As you see, you can download from here. So I've already done that, so it appears like this. Now, what you're going to want to do is uh, locate where you have your Technic folder. So we can go ahead and exit out of this. You no longer need this. So you're going to double-click on your Technic launcher, and it should open up as usual. Now, this is where what you are going to do is going to be a tiny bit different than what I do you're going to want to check right here as you saw I opened this and then I clicked on the little gear for settings and it says launcher options and all this may be a little different for you guys you can actually change your RAM here if you'd like I didn't actually know you could change the RAM in this but hey let's go ahead and say where we're going to find our Technic folder Now, as you see I do have a D drive as my actual drive I write things to because I do have an SSD for this this should actually be ape or app data it should be like user app data and then it should be dot technic folder so as you see this is mine so I'm actually going to go ahead and show you where the default one should be now what you're going to want to do is press the Windows key on your keyboard and press R now as you see we brought up the run command we're going to want to type in percent app data app data I will go ahead and leave that there for a second so you guys can see what that is that once again is percent app data percent so that's exactly what you type in and press ok so from here what you should actually be able to t uh, um, go into is going to be the dot technic folder now for me the dot technic folder is actually located in my d drive and let's see let's go ahead and open this and it's actually located in system and technic so for you guys it should be in a different location but you should have the exact same thing here so your dot technic folder should look just like this so let's go ahead and open up the hexit and from here as you see we have the normal kind of Minecraft loaded mods so what we're going to need to do in order to install this is go into your bin folder and then right here you will see a mod pack so what you're going to want to do with mod pack after you have installed WinRAR is go ahead and right click on it go to open with and then click on WinRAR archiver now you're actually going to open up this strange little prompt thing you can actually close out of your bin file if you would like to and you're going to take the Optifine that you downloaded earlier and go ahead and click on open with once more and go ahead and click on WinRAR archiver so now you have two of these I tried to um, split window this but it wouldn't let me because I have another monitor now what you're going to want to do is select every single fire or file in the Optifine so we're gonna go ahead and press control a and then you're going to hold down control again and double or click on the dots so now what you're going to be able to do is drag this over to here and just drop it now it's going to ask you to archive name and parameters and everything should be fine just go ahead and press ok and boom you are done installing Optifine let's go ahead and exit out of this now once again if you have troubles finding where that file is or if it's not 
not actually called what mine was. It's actually in the dot technic folder after you run percent dot app data instead of where mine was. So it's going to be in the dot technic folder opposed to where mine was. So that is a it might have a little bit of an issue finding that. But if you do, just go ahead and check here and no problem. So let's go ahead and exit out of this. And as you see, exit is selected. Um, and we're going to go ahead and launch now do keep in mind You do actually have to have a minecraft account to launch this and we have no updates So everything's going to work just fine It's not going to try to update it or anything like FTB has done in the past to me I don't know why it wanted to fix things when nothing was wrong, but it wanted to fix it So as soon as Hexit loads up you guys will notice that Optifine has been installed and hopefully the tutorial has helped you guys out as you see Optifine Optifine 1.5.2 HD UD5. Now, if you do want to go ahead and make sure it did work, you can actually see you can go all the way up to wherever you want. You can go to extreme, or you can stick on farm, or you can even go to tiny. I would recommend tiny for those of us that do have less um, capable computers, but I generally go on normal, and that's basically how I record. So, if this guy's helped you in installing Optifine, um, thank you guys for watching. Please do hit that like button down below. Hit the subscribe button, anything to help me out. So thank you guys for watching. This has been PG Mynington, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.